because he's good and he's worthy. Oh, come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Tell somebody next to you, I'm glad to be in church today. I'm ready to worship the Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah. I'm marching to battle, no doubt in my mind that my God is with me and victory is mine. I'll dance in the shadow of my enemy Cause God is my champion and he fights for me Oh, God is my champion and he fights for me Bigger the battle, greater my faith There is no giant you cannot slay Cause you're stronger than 10,000 armies You're stronger than 10,000 So, whoa, oh, oh, oh. From the Son of Man I throw off this armor And raise up my hands Cause I know my God And I know who I am Oh, I know my God And I know who I am Bigger the battle Greater my faith There is no giant You cannot slay Cause you're stronger than 10,000 armies You're stronger than 10,000 Cause you're stronger than 10,000 armies You're stronger than 10,000 See ya! Whoa, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, oh. Sing this together. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Tell every giant, get out my way. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Tell every giant, get out my way. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Tell every giant, get out my way. Stronger than ten thousand armies. You're stronger than ten. 
giving their hearts to the Lord and they're being baptized. Can we make some noise for what is happening up here? This is from Jordan. He's one of the individuals being baptized. I grew up in a church and got saved at a very early age, but I never truly understood what it meant to pick up your cross daily. After getting connected at Calvary through serving and going to youth and young adult Wednesday nights a year ago, I started understanding what picking up your cross daily means. In my opinion, it's the part of the gospel most churches forget to emphasize enough. But at Calvary Christian Center, I heard it clearly to the point to where it caused me to start getting hidden sin out of my life so that I could get closer to Jesus. I also have never gotten baptized before after knowing the true meaning of what being a follower of Jesus Christ means. I want to get fully baptized. Can somebody make some noise? Come on. Give God praise. Oh, he's still slaying giants. He's still slaying giants. If you're thankful, lift up a praise. Come on. Bigger the battle. Bigger the battle. Greater my faith. There is no giant you cannot say because you're strong.
some impossible situations going on right now in your life. I know a God of the impossible. I know a God who can move mountains that no man can move. You said, I believe it. You said, it is done. You said, I believe it. You said, it is done. So you said it. You said, you said it is finished. You said the work was accomplished. Oh, he said it. It is done. He spoke it into existence. shall be impossible <laughs> I said with God nothing shall be impossible maybe you just need a reminder your God can do anything your God can do anything that's why we're not afraid because our God can do anything. 
We're not worried. We're not anxious for anything because our God can do anything. I said our God can do anything. Our God can do anything. If you believe that, I dare you to give him a shout of praise. Come on. Oh, he can do anything. But there's one thing he won't do. Fail. <laughs> he won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail you, Mom. He won't fail you, Dad. He won't fail you. He'll keep you. Hey! He never fails. He never fails. So make way through the water. Walk me through the fire. Do what you are famous for. What you are famous for Shut the mouths of lies Bring dry bones to life Do what you are famous for What you God of exceedingly God of abundantly More than we ask or think Lord, you will never fail Your name is powerful your words unstoppable all things are possible in you god of exceedingly god of abundantly more than we ask for thee lord you will never fail your name is powerful your words unstoppable all things are possible in you, God of, God of exceedingly, God of abundantly, Lord, we ask for thee, Lord, you will never fail, your name is powerful, your words unstoppable, all things are possible. Yes. 
same God. You are the same God. You were a healer. Come on, if you believe it, sing it out. You were a healer. You are. I felt something on this in rehearsal this morning that God was going to do something in this room significant and I told Shelly backstage I said I feel something is about to shift in this place and I'm getting choked up up here about to drink some water and I said <laughs> I don't care if I choke up here I'm going to just declare that he's the same God and he's healing in this room right now so if you need healing in your body just lift your hands yeah Lord, all over this room, we just declare healing. We declare a word of healing right now. We send a word of healing to Roger Holmes right now. We dispatch healing angels in the mighty name of Jesus. Your healing presence floods this room and it floods every home of every person watching right now by live stream. Come on, declare healing in the mighty name of Jesus. You were a healer then and you're a healer now. You're the same God. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we declare it. You're the same, you're the same, you're the same, you're the same, you're the same. Hey, say you are a healer. You are a healer. And you're a healer. Yeah.
You are the same God. You are the same God. You are the same God. You are the same God that delivers people from addiction. You are the same God. You are the same God that restores families. You are the same God. You are the same God that set over 500 people free last week. You are the same God. You are the same God. Can we take a moment here and just lift up worship to him? Lift your own words to him. Father, we love you. Thank you for your wonderful presence in this room, Lord. Your healing presence. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for every miracle that's happening even now, Lord. Thank you. Come on, church. Lift your voices to him. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. There was actually a man that was baptized with stage four brain cancer. He was the first one that was baptized. He said, I want to get it all right. His daughter was there with him. But I'm just declaring by faith that when that man went under the water, that healing flowed like a river. Guys, the Bible said you have not because you ask not. He's the same God. John, if we believe it, we ought to rise to declare it right now. That if he healed then, he can heal now. That if he, that if he made a way then, he made a way now. If Jesus rose from the dead, does anybody believe it? I said, does anybody believe it? If he's already conquered death, you know what that means? That means that there's nothing he can't do. That means that brain cancer, liver cancer, lung cancer, that means there's not one sickness that is greater than the Jesus that you serve. Somebody give the Lord praise. We speak healing. We decree healing in this room today. Right now, God is releasing a healing wave. God is releasing a healing wave. He's doing it online. He's doing it in the house. He's doing it in the hospital beds right now. Somebody give the Lord a praise.
Holy name, 
over fear and all anxiety right now to every soul captive by depression oh i speak jesus let's sing it again i just want to speak the name of jesus over fear and
the highest place and gave him a name that is high above every name. I don't know what you're facing today, but there is a name that is greater than depression. There is a name that is greater than addiction. There is a name that is greater than divorce. There is a name that is greater than failure. There is a name that is greater. And what you ought to do today is stop rehearsing your problem and begin to speak the name of Jesus. Sing it, John. Sing it for me. Shout Jesus from the mountains and Jesus in the streets. Oh, yes. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. I shout Jesus for my family. I speak the whole. Jesus, come on, say Jesus. Jesus. Tell 